Hi guys, we're talking about uh, fear. So I thought it would be nice to actually record a conversation. Um, uh, oops, no, yeah. And uh, the idea with, with fear is to give it space. Uh, give it space so it doesn't control you. And by giving it space and observing it and becoming the observer rather than the 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 person who is being like controlled, you 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 can be controlled by your fear or you can control your fear. So you can just decide, oh my god, this is too much, and then you just complain yourself in the role of the victim who's no longer in control. But just observe yourself and see what are the benefits. Because if you are uh, staying in fear, maybe you are getting something out of it. Maybe there is some benefit of being in fear that you don't have to make a decision. Oh, that's comfortable. You can stay where you are. This is, this is safe. This is comfortable. I don't want to change. So maybe fear has a purpose in your life and you are hiding and you are comfortable with being a victim and you are listening to the narrative and you are believing in the narrative. And that makes you feel, yeah, safe because then you don't have to change. You don't have to make decisions. You don't have to leave your husband. You don't have to uh, change country. You don't have to change your job, which is scary because the most scariest thing you can experience is to step into the unknown. So you will get a lot of um, reasons to not do it. So fear has a purpose, is to protect you. And if you are able to observe why you are scared, then you are able to not be a child that is powerless, but you can actually see the fear for what it is, a signal, an information. And then you can assess whether you are facing fear or danger. Is there a, a, a wolf around you? Is it very dangerous? Then you... It's normal to feel fear and fear is going to protect your life. But if there is no danger, if there is just fear, but without any danger, then you know that you are getting a very powerful uh, information that something potentially transformative is ahead of you. And you are just feeling the resistance. And it's okay. You are feeling the resistance. It's uh, normal. But you don't have to be surren to surrender your sovereignty to it. You can feel it and push through because you will feel empowered. You will feel in control of your life. And all of a sudden, you will control this feeling of fear and says, oh, and you can have a bit of uh, distance and humor from it. And then all of a sudden, you can do realize you can do anything. I I am preparing a little. Uh, I oh, actually I did. I, I did a post on Instagram where I I shared that um, when people come to my workshop, usually they are scared of ice baths because it's really just ice cubes, and they are very scared and they feel I cannot do this. I cannot sit in 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 this bath full of ice cubes, and then they do it, and then they feel wow, it's incredible. I can I can sit in an ice bath, and then I tell them. Tomorrow we stay for 10 minutes. And they tell me, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I'm scared. I'm, what, what if I lose my finger? What if I, 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 I have a heart attack? You know, I, I, I don't feel this is safe. You know, I, I'm scared. And then they do it. And then they realize, oh my God, how many stories do I tell myself? How many stories do I believe? Because someone told me a story and I, I, I have just accepted this story. And our life is full of stories that we just believe, you know, and we don't question. Oh, it's always been like that. So this is what it is, you know, it's, it's called tradition, religion. They're all based on fear. They're all based on control. It says, okay, this is, this is how you should be doing. And there is a, but there is no, there, there is a power in, in questioning the fears and questioning the beliefs and question questioning the tradition and getting the opportunity to probably um, be your own sovereign and, and decide for yourself what you want. 
uh, I give you an example. I am now near my, my Paris with my parents and I live by a river. It's a beautiful river. I see fishes. I see birds drinking it all the time. And a lot of people go there for fishing. It's full of fishes. But no one swims. Because they say it's dangerous. It's polluted. You get sick if you swim in there. But why are the fishes very happy? Why are the birds coming all the time and drinking it and being very happy? You know, like they... they can I listen to the birds and to the fishes instead of the people who have, they never swim in this water. They don't know firsthand. Someone told them, so they believe it. And you have hundreds of people who are walking uh, around and they don't dare to go in. And then they say, oh, it's illegal. There is, there is a rule. And then I, of course, every day I go and I swim in this water and it's beautiful. And I've been doing it for years and I never had a, a, a problem. But everybody is judging me and telling me, oh, this is, this is dangerous. But I like to experience life from my, my perspective. And of course, it means I make mistakes, but I, I take the risk. Okay, I make a, I make a mistake. Uh, and I know that it's not dangerous. Okay, maybe the worst case scenario, I will learn that, okay, I get some some uh, spots or I get itchy and then I, I realize yes they were right it's polluted I should not go in it okay I'm a healthy person I will just do a fast for a few days and I'll be fine but I don't know for 10 years I go there every time I'm here every day and I don't ever had a problem and I'm probably the only one who goes there swimming because the rest believe that it's 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 dangerous so that's the that's the danger of tradition. And if we can liberate ourselves from fear, then um, we, can be, we can be free. Does that answer your question?